Nordex's N149 turbine has come out on top of the 3 megawatt plus category at Windpower Monthly's 2018 awards. Sean, what did you make of the turbine this year? I thought the key thing for this turbine was that it was the first to market of this new wave of 4 to 5 megawatt turbines with rotor diameters of up to 150 metres. Nordex has simply got there before everybody else. And it's uh, interesting that the blade itself is one of the longest uh, on the market and it means it can tap both low wind sites and be perform well in higher wind sites. Yeah, the, the versatility of this um, design is, is absolutely key to its success, I think, yeah. that it can be um, produced with different power ratings um, and then adapted to suit the particular topography of the mm. wind farm where it's being installed. As, yeah, absolutely. They've, it's received orders in everywhere from Finland to Turkey, which have very different uh, environments uh, and different wind regimes. And that proves that the flexibility is proving well with the market. Yes, and the, the order book looks very healthy as far as Nordex is concerned. It shows that the customers are keen to go for right. it and are not waiting for GE or Vestas or Siemens Gamesa to come up with their own. Yeah, with uh, a 60% of Nordex's total order book from Q4 2018, it, it's, it's already one of its most popular models that it's got on it in its books. That's a very impressive performance and in a very competitive market too. And that's important where Nordex have kept the dimensions of the nacelle and the gearbox configuration. The company can take advantage of efficiencies in the supply chain to lower the uh, levelised cost of energy. Yep, um, it should be no harder to transport or install than its predecessor, which was a much smaller machine. Another key thing, I think, is that there's plenty of development potential in this turbine. We know that Nordex is working on a 4.8 megawatt version with a shorter rotor diameter for high wind speeds. Uh, which does suggest that there's going to be plenty they can do with it over the next few years. Yeah, it'll be great to see what they do over the next 12 months and moving into the 2020s. Absolutely.